Hey guys, what is up? My name is Seymour Eleven Nine, and today we will be falling in water. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, so I have been. I don't know. <laughs> I have been a little busy today, but I was planning to make them earlier today, but I was like, shit, why not just film them now? And plus, I'm tired, so once I'm done, I'll be really tired. But that's exactly how I work, yep. Uh, so, when I realized where my house went, we can start off from where we left off. Left off, and I said off, really. What the fuck is off? Let's kill this cow. Alright, so basically, yeah, basically all that and that and that, basically. My favorite word is basically. Yeah, I'm still tripping. Alright, I found my house. Oh, oh, I barely made it. I'm like, try my bitch. Let's eat that pork chop. Good and yummy. Good and yummy. Alright. So basically, I will be doing this. I'll be going into the house. I need to make like a chest, I think. Yeah, I need to make a chest. So let's go to the crafting table. And I wish we had classic crafting, but I don't know if they're gonna have that yet. I just know that classic crafting is cool. Sorry, I'm, I sound a little. I got a little fucked up today. I'm not feeling very well right now. But. <laughs> I'm gonna be alright. See, my name is Clarence. And I'm very immune to sicknesses. Just. Just. Pray, I pray and I hope not to get Ebola. Because if that shit happens, then I'm, I'm screwed. I ain't recovering from that shit. Now, something I noticed about this version and the console version, because there's only two versions I play. Virgin? Did I just say virgin? Um, but this one, when you mine, like, two block flowers, like these, for example, you get two of them back. And, well, two of them back. That happens, and ooh, sugar cane, sugar cane. Yeah, you're just gonna basically see me survive. I'm just gonna be, I'm just really gonna be showing off how I survive. And on my survival world, I'm just gonna be telling how, <clears throat> how I, well, well, things that happen in my life and shit, shit like that. You know, I gotta be real with y'all, since I'm a new YouTuber. I'm, I'm gonna be one of them upcoming YouTubers. I promise you I will. I'll be one of the best YouTubers. I'm sounding real ghetto today, ain't I? Yeah, I'm feeling real good right now, though. Still, I'm still sick, but... I'm feeling alright. In my brain, I am. My head hurts. Oh, shit. Big headache. Big headache. Oh, shit. And this vision on this game is not making it any better. Sorry, I was just trying to listen to the sound. So I gotta keep my volume very low if I want the sound to sync in with the phone and my voice if it in like so it won't go overboard. Sorry. I'm gonna tell you guys a story. A funny story. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> uh I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I should say. I really don't. <laughs> I'm boring right now. Oh yeah, so, um, recently, it, it's been a while, a really good while, but, like, recently, like, when I'm, when I go to school, kids are like, what is your name, they're like, Clarence, they're like, oh my god, they're, they're like, oh my god, I'm like, really, it's like, why are you saying oh my god, I was, uh, they were like, you mean like Clarence from Cartoon Network, I was like, yeah, I guess, and so I looked into the show, and I was like, um, okay, Okay. So I noticed Clarence from Cartoon Network. My name is Clarence Moore Swain, the artist. <laughs> or Seymour Lebanon. <laughs> as you guys clearly know. But, um... Let's see. Um, the, the kid asked me that and stuff like that. So, I'm watching the show now. And I'm looking at the character. And I'm noticing... This nigga is... 
doing everything I did when I was a kid. Damn, we didn't even cook. I'm like, somebody had to be fucking watching me. Then I got really fucking paranoid because there was this yellow car. This yellow fucking SUV that looked like the same one from GTA 5 when you had to, um, when you had to steal it from Michael's house and Michael was hiding in it. Jimmy's car? That car. I just kept seeing it, I swear to God, in real life. I just seen it everywhere I had went for the past four months. And I feel like they were gathering information about my teen life. Like they had already gathered everything about my my childhood and they put it on Cartoon Network and I feel like they're gonna make a teen version of him as well and I'm like I was scared shitless cause I was paranoid and also being on Adderall that shit don't help at all I'm like okay okay so I decided to just let let it let it slide I was like okay okay that's just my my imagination so ever since then I've just been I've been thinking about it like okay that's just weird what the fuck I wish there was something funnier, like, you guys probably just expecting me to say something about, like, how the people came out and start questioning me about all that. I was like, <laughs> well, um, no. Sorry to break it to y'all. Nah. Nah, I'll just be real with y'all. That shit didn't happen. Let's eat. We need to eat, fam. I'm so glad they got mutton on here now. Mutton, 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 mutton. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, but I'll take Adderall because I got ADHD. A lot, a lot of people have ADHD, but like me being a kid, I was born on November 9th, 1998. I had been given birth by my mother who actually was a drug addict. And I'm not going to feel bad about saying that. Don't, don't think I'm an asshole, because I'm not. Well, I am, but I'm also not. I'm also a very nice, charming, sweet guy. But at the same time, I was born as a crack baby. And, like, we barely got fed. I had been put into foster care, and now I live with the black family. That's exactly why I can say nigga all I want. My cousins, they gave me a nigga pass. They accept me as the wigger of the family. The white nigga. But, like, but, like... I ain't gonna abuse that though. So like, say I'm in front of some strangers, like some, some black people that I don't even know. I ain't about to say that in front of them because I know for sure they're gonna they they will not believe me if I told them I had a nigga pass, and they just hear me say it out of the straight blue, like, yo dog, what the fuck you just say? I like, uh, and then the next thing you know, I just get my fuck my shit beat the fuck up. Like, no, I ain't about to do that. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, I can say nigga. I'm not gonna abuse the right though. I'm not gonna just sit there and blab it out like 50 times. And I'm definitely not gonna say the one with the ER at the end because that shit really means ignorant. See, I, I feel that the difference between the nigga and then the one with the, um, the M1 ending with ER, I feel like. Hold on, hold on. Shit, <laughs> I had a brain fart. I feel like um the difference is like if you use the ER term, you're using it as a racial or just a way to call somebody an ignorant person. But if you're doing it towards black people, you're being racist and all that. And I feel if I say that, then I'm racist. But if I say nigga, it's the word that was really changed around by black people. So they changed it around and used it on each other as a way to signify their heritage and who they are it's not just a way to say that they're ignorant because i've been living with black people long enough to know their culture now and this is what i've learned and gathered from them being a white type of person yes i'm gonna learn things i'm gonna gather things like your average white guy but i also took in the same heritage of black people and i feel like I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I don't know. Right now, I feel as if I should have been in the hood this whole time. And I was just missing out for those four years. I was... Well, the two years I was at the, my, with, my real, with my real mama. And then this... 
the time I was at the guardian home for the, for the, um, the second two years. But in saying that, it's 10 minutes now, as I can see. I'm gonna, um, end this video here. Please leave a like, please subscribe, and please comment. Tell me how I'm doing on my videos. Love you, peace, and I'll see you again on my next video.